Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, today I'm going to answer a question Will the Lowrider 2 MPCNC cut aluminum? About a quarter inch plate here. I'm going to cut out a square with some holes drilled in it that I can attach to my spoil board to give me a 90 degree corner. So it's going to start by drilling holes and then I will pause it and mount screws through those holes to hold the center to hold the piece down and there will be hole tabs on the very very corner here and over on the other side and then one in the centers and I'll just cut those out with my Dremel but the piece is screwed down I've added an extra piece of uh, three-quarter MDF on top of my uh, normal spoil board with the nut roots in it because this is actually going to cut all the way through and I don't want it cutting into my other board yet. So let's get the vacuum going. Got my camera watching. Got my safety glasses today. Got aluminum flying. And let me get my ears on. And we'll get this started up. This is a uh, actually 48 and a half by 26 and 3 quarter CNC and I've used the uh, plastic board for the side for the skate wheels to ride on so it actually won't wear into the wood and this was perfectly level with this center board here I made sure I got these two together and then the bottom is 2 by 3s and 2 by 4s nailed together with a uh, Roofing nail not going anywhere. And then my stand is um, two workbench, portable workbenches I got from uh, Home Depot. And my vacuum with a diffuser. And a dust topper on a two and a half inch barrel. Or two and a half gallon barrel. That one's actually a little bit sturdier than a five gallon. I've read where some people have had the five gallons collapsing. And this has a little bit sturdier walls. It was a car wash bucket. I got free with some car loan a long time ago. So let's get this going. Got an eighth inch bit. It's got two flutes. I've got a single flute on the way. We're going to try this one first. And we're going to see how this goes. Let's get the vacuum going.
So the uh, got just finished up on my low rider too. You can see the whole tabs, and I made a square so I can use that mounted on my hoist board to have a true corner to go by. Took um, three hours and three minutes. So let me another one I'm on to cut, but it's going to be another day. My two by threes is rest box. Just so I don't have to raise and lower the or worry about the bit touch, which is going to barely touch. So, let me uh, get some screws on this. See where the blade cut all the way through. So I just gotta trim this out with my dremel cutoff wheel. But I'm gonna have a 90 degree square for the CNC. If you have any questions, post them below and I will try to answer them. <laughs> 